Now, more on accusations of sexual assault against a former L.A. Sparks player. We broke the story last night. Today, the team reacts. Penthouse ends up in the poorhouse. Throw rocks at each other, then shake hands, only in a place called Newsweird. Buy Jennifer's shoes at a J-Lo price. Smart Deals shows you how. And the wait is over. Tabloid Wednesday is back. UPN 13 News starts right now. The investigation into allegations of sexual assault continues. But a former WNBA basketball star's mother says the charges are untrue. And now the team has responded as well. The big story tonight. I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Lauren Sanchez. You heard the story first last night right here on UPN 13. Basketball star Latasha Byers at the center of an investigation into sexual assault. Tonight, Gigi Graciet spoke with Latasha, her mother, her attorney, and her team. And our big story tonight, she gives us the latest. Byers stealing it away. Latasha Byers, she's known as one of the bad girls of the WNBA, both for her behavior on and off the court. Now we've learned the former L.A. Sparks player is the focus of an L.A. County Sheriff's investigation. Byers accused of sexually assaulting someone, another woman, another former L.A. Sparks player. Tonight we spoke to Latasha Byers. We wanted to hear her side of the story, what she thought of her former friend and teammate's accusations. According to our sources, there was a party on June 5th, right after the L.A. Sparks received their championship rings. It was there that the accuser says she was attacked by buyers and three men, whom she believes slipped GHB, known as the date rape drug, into one of her drinks. After that, she says the three men raped her and buyers penetrated her with a foreign object, a sex toy. Sources telling us that someone used a cell phone camera to take pictures of the attack and then emailed the pictures to others. Byers telling us tonight that she had nothing to say about the accusations, referring us instead to her lawyer, who said, We're allowing the sheriff's department to complete their investigation, and we intend to be as cooperative as possible. We are hopeful that when the investigation is completed, Latasha's name will be cleared. The attorney going on to say, She's very upset. When someone accuses you of something you didn't do, it is upsetting. Over the phone, Latasha's mother, Joyce, told us that her daughter is very upset about the accusations and about being dropped from the L.A. Sparks, saying, Latasha didn't do anything. She's being set up. The team wasn't pulling for her. The L.A. Sparks also issued a statement today saying they're aware of the serious nature of this investigation and they are cooperating with police. Again, no charges have been filed. The D.A.'s office saying that the investigation is ongoing. City Beat now, gubernatorial candidate Arnold Schwarzenegger is shaking up his campaign team and giving his journalist wife, Maria Shriver, a central role in the campaign. Billionaire Warren Buffett has also joined Arnold's team. He will act as chief financial advisor. Two key members of former Governor Pete Wilson's staff are also on board. Meantime, the list of candidates for California's recall ballot has been finalized. The official number of candidates is 135. More than 100 candidates were disqualified because of incomplete paperwork. North Hollywood, a black and white is hit, but no officers in the car at the time. They were away from the vehicle responding to a bizarre call. A barefoot, bare-chested man seen walking along the road with two young children. The man ran onto the Lancashire Freeway off-ramp before being taken into custody. And in Hollywood, a frightened woman tries jumping to safety from this burning apartment building, but instead jumps to her death. Onlookers tried shouting at the woman to wait for help to arrive. But she apparently panicked and ended up impaling herself on a fence three stories below. The seventh annual Blessing of the Grapes at the Glendale Adventist Medical Center, an Armenian tradition dating back to 1700 years. The Armenian community gives the first yield from their vineyards to the church in hopes of a bountiful harvest. Running for president is full of pitfalls. Just ask John Kerry, who made what you might call a cheesy move in Philadelphia. Kerry is trying to change his image, attempting to act like a regular guy. He ordered one of the city's famous cheesesteaks. But Kerry outraged the crowd by asking for it with Swiss cheese. Apparently in Philly, you either eat your cheesesteak with cheese whiz or you don't eat it at all. Across America to upstate New York, where search and rescue workers find the bodies of four camp counselors after they drowned in the Adirondack River. 
The four had been swimming when one was swept away. The other three tried to rescue their friend, but all of them were overcome by the powerful current. I can't believe that. A Virginia woman reacts after police arrest her neighbors, a man and a woman, for allegedly drugging a young girl in this house, sexually abusing her, and then selling videotapes of their sick and twisted act. The victim is related to one of the suspects. Soledad, convicted child molester Brian DeVries is now a free man, sort of. Despite angry protests from two California communities, the surgically castrated 44-year-old is being allowed to live in a trailer on the grounds of the state prison in Soledad. DeVries cannot use the uh, internet without permission, and he remains subject to 24-hour surveillance. Alexi, Mississippi, students in this school district also under constant supervision. 550 cameras are watching their every move. The district superintendent says the controversial camera policy promotes safety, not spying. Waco, an autopsy report shows Baylor basketball player Patrick Dennehy died from two gunshot wounds to the head. Dennehy's body was found in uh, late July near the Baylor campus. He'd been missing for weeks. Results also show Dennehy had no drugs or alcohol in the system. Dennehy's former roommate is charged with his murder. And in Tampa, burglars dig a tunnel underneath the local sports authority store and make off with thousands of dollars in apparel and equipment. Now, it took at least four people to excavate the waist-deep 40-foot-long tunnel over the span of a week. Once it was all finished, they chiseled their way into the store. When it was closed, there is one suspect in custody. Libya is finally taking responsibility for the mid-air explosion of Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland. The families of the 270 victims agreed to a $2.7 billion compensation account following today's 11-hour meeting. Libya's admission of guilt should lead to U.N. sanctions against the country being lifted. And the universe is closing in, literally. While on Earth, the political situation is unraveling. Those stories and more as we slam into the world. Now. Liberia, dozens of people ransack warehouses at the port in Monrovia. Rebels fire over looters' heads, but that doesn't stop them. Each building had about 10,000 pounds of food inside. More supplies are waiting off the coast. They'll be unloaded as soon as peacekeepers take back control of the port. Belgium, a head-on crash. Two ships carrying a cargo of automobiles colliding head-on in a waterway by the city of Antwerp. One of the ships was towed away, but the other remained stuck. Why the ships collided, still a mystery. Anger turns vocal in Baghdad. Thousands of Iraqis demanding American troops pull out of their neighborhood. They say soldiers tried to lower a religious flag fixed on top of a communications tower. The world beat moves out of this world to another, Mars. This month, the red planet is nearer to the Earth than at any time in almost 60,000 years. Don't forget to look up on August 27th when Mars will be closest. It'll be a mere 35 million miles away. Okay, so while we in California stress over the size of our recall ballot, citizens of Denver have stress on their ballot. For an upcoming election, voters will be asked if the city is doing enough to reduce stress. If the majority answers no, Denver will research ways to mellow out. The stress issue made the ballot after enough signatures were collected to put it there. Hold on, penthouse in the doghouse? Will bankruptcy ruin the spreadsheet? Duck, it's village versus village at a stone-throwing ritual in India. Newsweird rocks. Want cool shoes like J-Lo? Well, don't pay too much like I did. Smart deals with where to buy superstar heels at super low prices. And the return of tabloid Wednesday? Ben's lies, J-Lo's betrayal, Martha versus Oprah? It's tomorrow's tabs tonight. I'm bouncing off the walls again. Whoa, and I'm looking like a fool again. Whoa, waking up on the bathroom floor. Pull myself back together just to fall once more. My heart's beating out of my chest. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm in the box. And um, I just like to say that this hot weather, it's got to go. I'm Al Nord, and I'm in the box. And this summer, the waves were radical. Hi, I'm Stefan. I'm in the box. And I think this LA traffic is ridiculous, but it teaches you a lot of patience. I don't care. UP, yeah, yeah. Got bagels? No bagel, no bagel, no bagel, yeah. Got cheese? That was me. I had hot dogs for lunch. Got coffee, too? Not to the best of my recollection. Seinfeld, that 70s show, and Frasier. That's a whole meal. Is there anything else to eat? Get full. <laughs> Weeknights on UPN 13. Get it on, get it on. Ford makes...
Thursday at 8 on UPN 13. shots we take it to milwaukee the chaos is fake but the purpose of the drill is all too real planning for a potential terrorist biological or chemical attack at a ball game or similar sporting we event we should do a lot of those yes now just north of baghdad u.s army technicians blow up a huge surface to air missile iraqi soldiers ditched the same missile at a military base since the end of operation iraqi freedom coalition forces have uncovered stockpiles of weapons and ammunition throughout the country but so far none of mass destruction it takes practice to become the fastest gun in the land. These two Georgia gunslingers are prepping for next week's Cold Steel Challenge, the World Speed Shooting Championship near Lake Piru. Number one with a bullet gets 260,000 bucks. What kind of a world is it when even a steer competition is rigged? Bad. Mongo was found to be juiced up with steroids at the Illinois State Fair, and he was disqualified. But like any athlete, Mongo is appealing. Well, the publisher of Penthouse may or may not be morally bankrupt, but the magazine itself is broke. And yet, Penthouse will not be disappearing from the stands. A Chapter 11 filing allows it to continue operations, perhaps by making money off the Penthouse name with things like adult videos, gentlemen's clubs, and websites. Penthouse is about $40 million in debt. In tonight's headliners, California Governor Gray Davis is now getting advice from a Democrat who knows how to weather adversity? Former President Bill Clinton. The two men had discussed the recall by phone, with Clinton advising Davis to stay focused on being governor and avoid getting into a fight with frontrunner Arnold Schwarzenegger. A Chinese company inspired by President Bush's recent landing on an aircraft carrier has created a 12-inch likeness of the commander-in-chief called G.I. George. The figure is dressed in clothing and accessories Bush war the day he declared major combat operations in Iraq were over. Now you can buy the doll online. Fidel Castro, the world's longest living head of state, turned 77 today. Despite rumors of poor health, the communist leader still keeps a rigorous work schedule. Castro says he has no plans to step down anytime soon, and frankly, who's going to argue with him? Broadway dims its lights in honor of the late entertainer Gregory Hines. Hines, who won a Tony Award in 1992, died of cancer last weekend at the age of 57. Everything is big in Texas, even the hopes and dreams of those auditioning for the next American Idol. Yes, as you can tell, this one got asked back. A few with real talent and thousands of wannabes showed up at Houston's Minute Maid Park to try out. The third season of American Idol begins in January. News Weird. Passionate but never unsafe, it's News Weird. <laughs> India, guys throwing rocks at each other. They call it a festival. Hindus believe this site is holy. An evil demon was killed on the ground. After pel pelting each other with stones and cleaning up the injured, by the way, 100 plus and 50 seriously, well, the people hug one another afterwards and offer prayers at a temple. Stamp this one. Ouch! <laughs> he's happy behind the wheel. And oh, by the way, he's blind. Whoa. Mike Newman from Britain set the world land speed record for those who cannot see, 144 miles an hour. Oh, a chase amazing. car followed Newman, telling him what to do and especially when to stop. Stamp this one. Please stop. Stop. That's great, though. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like that one. Okay, you don't bite the hand that feeds you, or in this case, the paw that feeds you. A Dalmatian in China adopts a litter of newborn lion cubs after their birth mother rejected them. Besides the cubs, the dog is also nursing 10 puppies of her own. The cubs will continue nursing for at least four months. Then they'll be eaten. No, I'm just kidding. No, then they'll move on to solid food. So stamp this one. Delicious. Very mm -hmm. cute. Okay, more hungry mouths in Florida. Two different sets of triplets born at the same hospital within hours of each other. Wow. Oh, that happens every day. Doctors say all six babies are healthy. Three of their dads, well, might have an advantage. He's a triplet himself. Stamp this one. Sweet. You know, when things heat up in Germany, what do you do? Fake a passport and move to France? All right. But if you're a polar bear, you pretty much have to stay put. Searing heat is affecting animals at the Berlin Zoo, so volunteers carry big blocks of ice hand over hand and throw them into the pool. What's the uh, German word for? Oh. Oh. Really? Okay. Yeah, I think it's the same. I think the same thing. It's universal, actually. Got that. 
just thought I'd let you know. What the heck is that? It's black. Right. Anyway, we're having a little Fancy problem. Fancy new TV back there. Yeah, isn't it great? It's it. really pretty. Once though. you buy it, then you got to be able to pay for the video. Why don't you just stand there and okay, dance? Go ahead. You're brilliant. Have I ever told you that? You are brilliant. Yeah. Looks like we won't get to see Cami Diaz. Why are we saying Cami, by the way? Cameron Diaz without uh, any clothes on, after all. Next up, the man who snapped her gets slapped in jail. And when you've got shoes like JLo, hey, why would you ever want to go naked? Smart deals coming up. You're watching UPN 13 News. When you're here, you're family. Hi, I'm Ruth, and I'm in the box. And I think there are too many soldiers dying in the Middle East right now. Hi, my name is Tu, and I'm in the box. And um, I think that more money should go into education and to support our youth today. At Kohl's 50% off sale, you'll get half off hundreds of items store-wide. This Friday and Saturday only from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Take half off our entire stock of Sew and Sonoma pants in new styles and fabrics. Save 50% on screen tees for juniors, young men, and kids. Get half off our entire stock of sleepwear for the family. Plus, save 50% on all frames and frame dart, every accent rug, and every bed pillow and decorative pillow. It's Kohl's 50% off sale this Friday and Saturday only from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Kohl's. Shop happy, leave happy. I'm here in the Northwest to promote my Northwest chicken salad. It's really authentic with all the flavors of the Northwest, like authentic Northwest fajita-style chicken, roasted sweet corn, black beans, and the Northwest kick of spicy pepper jack cheese and creamy Northwest dressing. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Whoops. I'm here in the Southwest to promote my Southwest chicken salad. Try the Southwest chicken salad, one of three salads made fresh daily. Small business owners love the start of the day. When thoughts have no ceilings, goals are clear, and possibilities have no limits. We want to keep the limits away. Introducing SBC Business Unlimited. Unlimited local toll and nationwide long distance for a flat $58.99. Guaranteed. SBC. Seeing small business differently. It was amazing to have the opportunity. A legal victory for Cameron Diaz. Criminal charges filed today against a photographer who allegedly tried to extort money from the actress in connection with nude photos taken of her before she became famous. The photographer is accused of forging uh, Cameron's uh, name on a model release. He allegedly wanted $3 million to keep the pictures from becoming public. All right, guys, pay attention because every woman wants them. A pair of J-Lo's sexy shoes. But you know what? You don't have to pay those ching store prices. Drive to North Hollywood instead and get a major smart deal. Every time you see a photo of J-Lo, she's wearing them. She started an international fashion craze when she first found these sexy Lucy and wood wedge shoes at this trendy Melrose boutique. Next thing we knew, we were up to our ears and making just that one shoe. So we just started calling it the J-Lo shoe. Now, every woman wants a pair, including me. They're strong, they're comfortable, they're sturdy, and as you can see, they go with just about anything. That's why I paid 150 bucks for my first pair. That was dumb. You can get the smart deal on JLo shoes by getting them factory direct in North Hollywood at Kiss Store Shoe Manufacturing, known online as ShoesUSA.com. You have retailers who mark up as much as 300%, but they would be getting it just above cost. So instead of paying 150 bucks on up, you only paid 99 bucks a pair at the factory. You cut out the middleman, you go straight to the source, definitely worth the drive. Gotta love them. Can't see them, but anyway. Okay, you can also get them for less online at ShoesUSA.com, but you're gonna pay a little extra for shipping. The factory address is on their website. They're the best shoes ever. I just don't wanna have to paint my nails anymore. I'll buy you a pair. All right, Tabloid Wednesday is next. A first look at this week's Oh look, we're talking about Ben and Jen again. We're gonna talk about half-truths, innuendo, and scandal, everything you love. Ross presents a Shoe Week extravaganza. Women's shoes, men's shoes, kids' shoes, and an extraordinary selection of athletic shoes. Save 50 to 70% on the top brands and the latest styles. So hurry to Shoe Week at Ross. The 
the savings will be music to your ears. Dinner's here. Now Domino's delivers the excitement of NASCAR. And for more excitement, get two medium one-topping pizzas with Domino's Dots for only $13.99. That's right. Get two medium one-topping pizzas with Domino's Dots for only $13.99. Guys. <laughs> get the door. It's the official pizza of NASCAR. The experts at Hotels.com know how close all the places are to where you want to stay. All at the best price. Hotels.com. Best prices, best places. Guaranteed. Ford makes the number one truck in America, and you've been waiting all year for the right time to get one. Right now, during Ford's authorized clearance, get a 2003 F-150 with 0% for five years or $3,000 cash. The F-150 has more available torque and payload than the competition. That's why F-Series has been America's best seller for 26 years. Hurry, this could be your last chance to get 0% on the Ford truck you want. This portion of UPN 13 News is sponsored by your Southern California Ford dealers. Okay, so not everybody loves Raymond. These are some tense times on the set of the CBS comedy. Both Patricia Heaton and Brad Garrett have, in effect, been boycotting production in a dispute over salary and profit sharing. The situation is now so bad that Garrett, who plays Ray Romano's brother, has been written out of next season's first episode. Don't fight, boys. You get paid so much money. How do you think? Oh, relative, though. Yeah, you know. Sure makes a lot of money. Exactly. Well, you know what? Maria's not here, and definitely not because of a salary dispute. <laughs> She's got the night off, even though it's a tabloid Wednesday. I know, so I get to kick off this week's tabs, and what a shocker. Yes, there, and us, and we, we're all talking about Ben and Jen. The National Enquirer is still talking about the strip club. And it says Ben's lies and the secret letter that supposedly allegedly proves he cheated. The Enquirer alleges a massive cover-up attempt. It's wow. like Watergate, apparently. Was the government involved? Yeah, I think so. Deep Throat was involved. By Ben and the owner of the Vancouver Strip Club. What? I'm talking about Watergate. I'm okay. Strip club where Affleck had his notorious canoodle. I love that word. Canoodle. I don't know, but we use it all the time now. Girls who had danced and frolicked with Ben and his friends that night. Now, they apparently they've been told to shut up about the whole thing that really happened. If they would have done that in the first place, none of this would have happened. Right, and the so-called secret letter. <laughs> what what secret letter? I know, I'm telling you. It was supposedly written by Christian Slater's wife, who was with them that night, asking the girls in question for their silence in the name of friendship. And they, I'm sure they have a deep bond with Christian Slater's wife. stays on the road. All right, I get it. I agree, yeah. It's like Vegas rules, right? I understand. And, uh, and for its part, the star tries a little pop psychology. Betrayed why men cheat on the world's dun, most dun, gorgeous dun. women. Men are men. Inside, the focus <laughs> is once again on J-Lo and Ben. And we learn that the wedding is definitely on. The star says J-Lo really let Ben have it at first. But after he profusely apologized, she said softly, I forgive you, and threw herself <laughs> into his arms. Sounds like you're reading a soap opera. <laughs> I, just, I just have opera. one question to yeah. ask you. Sure. What are you getting them for the wedding? Because I have no idea what to get them for a gift. Well, when I get the invitation, first of all, I will I will think. Maybe a toaster. I think yeah. uh, paper. I don't know what it is you get them for the first one. All right, well, leave it to the Globe to go its own way. Martha and Oprah, they're at war. Uh-oh. Who knew they were feuding? Oh, well. well, supposedly Martha is furious because Oprah is trying to horn in on Stewart's decorating franchise by adding a home design section to her magazine, oh, and planning a cooking and crafts TV show. Now, there's definitely room for both of them. Anyway, Martha reportedly, supposedly said of Oprah, the woman is like a shark smelling blood. I've often said that about you. <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> that's a, that would be an interesting feud. I think Oprah wins that one. You do? I, mean, I think Oprah can I take her. Well, yeah. She's I think about, she could take her. Yeah, she's having a little minor problems. All right. 